Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying basically a sort of spread fly it's a Bob Popovic's pattern um, but instead of tying it as we used to tie it with epoxy I'm using UV resin which makes a bit of a difference in how you go about it um, and before I tie it I'll just point out that this is what I'm doing here is instead I'm not going for the technique as in the new pop book. I'm trying to replicate the original fly from Pop Flies. Um using the super here because it's actually a very effective pattern. So that's just uh there's a there's a slightly different technique in the new book um that it uses to tie the deep profiled flies. A bit, the end result's somewhat different. So, this is a 4 aught Gamma Katsu uh, SL12, but you can use whatever hook you like. Um, and I've just run on some fine clear mono. So, quite a simple fly, really. Um, and you can make it as simple as you, or as complex as you like. Um, for the body, I'm using some super hair. Now, it's quite a thick clump. Just got to spread it around the shank, catch it all in, and lash it down. I'll just come in, trim away my waist. You could use a lighter, really, if you want it, just to keep everything nice and neat, the eye nice and clear. So, make sure, make sure that's tied in, and I'm keeping the tying point nice and short right at the front. Now, you could just add your flash and tie it from here, just spread the body, but um, I'm going, I'm adding a bit more detail to this. So, just to show you sort of what, what we can, what you can do with it. So I'm taking a light blue super hair. Same again. Just cut it to length. The ends are already kind of tapered, so that's fine. I'll tie this in on top. Get it locked in. You don't really need to worry about being too heavy handed with your thread because the glue will hold it, the, pop, the resin will hold it. So you can see that we're starting to build up the tone, getting a sort of nice bait fishy appearance and it's time for the flash got to take some uh, this is sparkle hair, it's a sub eye material you can just pull a flash, flash a boo, whatever you like really and again, just make sure the ends are sort of uneven spread it around all of the material, gather and wrap, get it locked in. Trim everything off nice and close.
And as you can see, I'm keeping my tie in point still, really all in the same space. I'm not letting it creep back. I'm just, I'm just adding vertically. So for the back, it's another bit of super hair. Sort of dark blue. This one in the length, just fold it back because it's a nice thin budge. You don't need, to, you're not really adding any bulk, or you're not that much because it's quite a thin, a thin bunch of hair. Starting to get a nice bait fish coloration. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to take some black or peacock crystal flash. Now this this color is actually called chameleon. But it's similar to the peacock. I'll just lay that right on top. Couple of turns there. Turn that off close. Just finish that off. Quick finish. Just the one's fine. And we're ready to we're ready to uh, set the fly into a, a sort of nice shape. So um, if you go back through actually I think it was the first video I ever put on YouTube, it was a slideshow of the epoxy one, you can see how we used to do it. Um, but now we've got the UV resin, so we're no, it's much better. We're no longer at the mercy of the the epoxy. Desperately trying to like time it just right. So what I'm doing, I'm just flooding the material with the resin. And I'm only going back about a quarter of the shank to initially get my shape or the profile. Maybe a third at the most. But you've got to make sure you get plenty of resin in there. Because you're going to be manipulating it and pulling it. So, when you're happy with the amount of resin, and then you can then start to adjust the shape and it's fairly straightforward I mean you just sort of try to get the super hair to spread fairly even maybe That's quite nice, and you can see I've got here. Some of the hairs going down at the bottom, some of the hairs coming up, but it's fairly evenly spread back in the body section. So you just make sure that you're nice and straight vertically. Hit it with the light. Now you can see we've got this sort of deep bodied shape and as it goes back it's a, it really makes a nice sort of um, bait fishy imitation, you know it gives you that you're a bit closer to the actual shape of like a sardine, it's, I mean this is 7 inches long so that's about, it's just about the right shape. 
So before we add eyes, before I add any eyes, I'm going to. That's not quite set. That's better. Before we add eyes, just got to make sure that the sides are nice and sort of even. And I don't mind if it creeps, if I bring the resin back slightly here. Um, I just do one side at a time. Just got a reasonable base, we'll just hit it with the light. Same again on this side. And just fill all that in. Because you will probably get a bit of a low spot because you've stretched it. Again, when you're Happy. Set it with the light, stop it moving. That's not bad. Eyes. These are sub by eyes. Um, it's an, an eight, an eight mm eye I'm using in this size. Obviously, adjust the eyes to suit the size of the fly you're tying. You get it where you want it. Set it up. And the beauty of this is you can actually see through the fly. Because the translucency say the super here, and just drop your eye on. You know, we check just me. Just make sure they're matching up. No bad. I'll do it. Hit it with the light. And then just to tidy everything up, make it nice and secure, cover the lot. Same in my side. It's a wee bit repetitive, but I mean, there's durable flies. I mean, they last hundreds of fish. Especially when the UV resin doesn't turn brown like the epoxy, so you don't need to sort of. You're not racing against time when you're actually like. We're using the fly. Sometimes when you tied them with epoxy, a, a day in the sun, especially if you're offshore, and the fly would be brown and. You know, like I just wouldn't. I mean, I just wouldn't fish it once it's once that's happened to it. Um, probably still catch fish, but I found that it really kind of hit my confidence when that when that happened to the fly. And you've got to be confident with what you're fishing. So I'm just rotating this just to let it sort of take a a smooth finish. I 
Hit it with a light. And that's basically it. Um, and you can add some details with some pens and give it a wee trim. Just to get you. Slightly bait fishier profile. And there you have it. It's a spread fly. Really, really effective um, for offshore fishing. But of course, I mean, you can tie them in different shapes as well. You can make the profile deeper or shallower, change the colours, use them, use them onshore. For anything, anything that eats a small bait fish. Just not in the gill. You know, you could add stripes with as well, make it look like sort of macro limitation or whatever. But there you go. So I hope that was useful. Uh, if it was, please remember to um, give my thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Take lines, guys. Bye.